He has an unbelievable time feel, which really sets him apart, especially in the late 60s. You know, there were only a few guys who were playing with that amount of rhythmic ease, you know? It was just so in the pocket and so rhythmically clear. I think that they're complementary in terms of um, the sonorities of the instruments. They don't occupy the same kind of aural space, you know, on a recording. So in that way, I think that they worked really well. That was around the time that Wes Montgomery was recording a lot of his, his more popular recordings, like he sort of, uh, with, 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 with pared down orchestras and, t and uh, TV and radio orchestras and stuff like that. So you hear a lot of flute and percussion and things like that in the idiom, especially with guitarists around the late 60s. Pat Martino and, and, uh, and Danny Turner are really simpatico. He just had a great technique. Uh, you know, really early on, and he also had a really beautiful, warm, robust sound. I really connected with that record in my teens, and I st and revisiting it for this, I was like, man, it's just as good as I as I always thought it was, and it's really in line with with my own priorities as a guitarist. Those two things, sound and time, separate you from the pack, and it certainly does with Pat in that in that on that recording. And it's and to be so young and to be playing like that is amazing. And his touch is very even. You know, that's incredibly even, like, and he must have spent a lot of time working on that. That's something that I really th uh, think is important as well. He can play e incredibly evenly. There aren't notes that sort of jump out as, you know, more loudly or quietly than the others. Um, he has a lot of control, and uh, he, he certainly had checked out a lot of, of, of Wes at that point, you know, um, and you can really hear it, you know, and uh, he has like a he has a sound where he's picking a lot of notes. I mean, he almost picks everything. I think you know, and I mean that gives it a really sort of rhythmically propulsive sound. Uh, there's a lot of forward motion in his sound. Uh, he's playing the melody in octaves, you know, and phrasing in a really beautiful way. And like 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 uh, the rest of the album. I mean, the whole record has that same quality to me. That particular track um, is is beautiful, but it doesn't stand out as having uh, an exceptional. Um, rhythmic feel uh, in relation to the other songs, they all do. They all they all had that same um, great balance of the percussionist and the drummer, really providing a great foundation. And Trudy Pitts holding it down, and, and Pat Martino's own really strong rhythmic sensibility in everything that he does, you know, coaxing things along.